I'm Sasha. Today I'm going to be showing you an eye look with the Milani Gilded Nude Palette. This is a beautiful palette that contains 15 different shades. This seems to be a very modern take on nudes where they have more of the rosy pinks and sort of mauve bent to it. They also have some beautiful shimmery metallics like this bronzy gold and this beautiful silver as well. It retails for around $20 so it's a little higher than some other drugstore makeup. I'm really excited to try this today and see if it lives up to the hype. I've already got some base makeup on including eyeshadow primer so I'll link all of that down below. So to start I'm going to use this beautiful peach shade called Boozy Brunch. You don't necessarily have to do this step but I like it because it sort of helps cover up my veins a little bit and give just kind of a nice base to everything. Next I'm going to dip into this beautiful rosy shade called Offline. I'm just going to work that into the crease a little bit as a transition shade. This is definitely coming out pretty pink. I love how highly pigmented these shades are and also that this entire palette is talc free. Next I want to go for something a little bit deeper so I'm going to take the small brush into End Chill which is kind of this chocolatey brown matte shade. I'm going to sort of apply it in somewhat of a diagonal shape near the outer corner of the eye and then blend that in with the pink tones we have there already. Then I'm going to work that shade up into the crease a little bit just to give it a little more definition. Now I'm going to take a bit of the shimmer shade called Keep Scrolling to highlight the center of my lid. I'm going to spray a little bit of setting spray. Today I'm using the Pacifica Cherry Matte Setting Spray. I just put a little bit on my hand, dip my finger into that, and then dip it into the powder. In this case it is Keep Scrolling. And then pat that on my eyelid. Not only does this give this the sort of wet and foiled effect, but I just love how it helps my shimmer stick better on my eyes as well. If I don't do this, everything sort of tends to migrate and just gets all over my face. Next I want to do an inner corner highlight, so I'm going to use 75 and Sunny, which is this beautiful gold. Again, I'll use some setting spray on my hand, dip a clean finger into it, in this case my pinky, dip that into the eyeshadow, and then just apply that by tapping it into the inner corner area. I love these shimmery shades because they seem to be really finely milled. They're not like super chunky glitter. They're just really pretty shimmery highlights. I'm just going to take this fluffy eyeshadow brush to sort of blend everything together and soften that a little bit. I'm pretty happy with where that's at so I'm just going to echo the same thing on the lower lash line. So I'm taking this little smudge brush. I'm going to start with offline and run it under the lash line. This is that nice sort of purpley mauve shade. Then I'm going to take a tiny bit of End Chill which is this matte brown shade and just work that into the corner to deepen it up a little bit. I'm trying to make sure this is connected to the top so it all looks really seamless and blended. Next I want to add a bit of shimmer to the lower lash line. Again I'm going to use some setting spray but this time instead of using my finger I'm using this tiny brush. So first I'm using a bit of this sort of shimmery bronzy shade called Keep Scrolling. Then I'm going to flip the brush over, dip it in the setting spray and put it in the gold shade called 75 and Sunny. The highlight shades in this palette tend to lean more towards silver and gold, but I also think this would be really pretty with like a champagne. So if you have something like a champagne highlighter, you can also use that as an inner corner highlight here and I think it would be really pretty. I really like how this is coming out so far. I like how the gold and the peach together kind of remind me of a sunset and it contrasts really well with my eyes. Now I want to do some eyeliner. I noticed that there isn't a ton of really deep matte shades in this palette. You could probably use something like End Chill, which is this kind of deep matte brown. Today I want to do something a little more glam, so I want to use this Pacifica liquid eyeliner. So I'm trying to just be really careful to not go all the way over. Now I've got the liquid eyeliner on and I want to do some mascara. Today I actually have a Milani mascara. This is the Milani Highly Rated Mascara. I've never actually used this one before. I got it in a gift set and I haven't had a chance to try it yet. It seems like it's a pretty thick brush so I'm guessing that this is more of a voluminizing mascara. I'm just going to kind of wiggle it on and see how it goes. It actually seems to be curling my lashes a bit which is kind of interesting. Now that I've got it on it seems like kind of a voluminizing mascara. It took kind of a few coats to sort of build it up for me so I would say it's kind of more of an everyday mascara. It's really pretty and I think it works really well with this eyeshadow. That's the end the eye tutorial but if you want to stay with me for a few minutes I'm just going to go ahead and finish off this look. When I bought this Gilded Nude palette from Ulta they actually included a free Milani Luminoso blush. I've been wanting to try this one but basically it's just sort of a baked blush in a nice peach shade. So I'm just kind of taking it on this blush brush and sort of buff it in. Definitely has a bit of a sheen to it. It's almost like a highlighter and a blush in one. Probably a good idea to use it a little bit higher up than you might with some other blushes especially because it's going to catch the light. Wow, this is really pretty and it's going quite nicely with this eye look. I didn't realize that it would come out quite so peach, but this is definitely more of a monochromatic peach look than I was expecting. That blush has quite a sheen to it, so I think I'm going to skip highlighter, but I am going to use just a little bit of it near the edges of this eyeshadow just to tie everything together. 
and maybe a little bit on my nose just to give it a little more of that sun-kissed look. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of bronzer. This is the Pacifica Blush Rose Bronzer and Blush. I was looking for a drugstore bronzer in my drawer, but I actually don't have that many. So if you have any suggestions for good, cruelty-free drugstore bronzers from Milani or another brand, I would love to know. I'm just going to bring a little bit of this bronzer down my neck to give it a little more warmth. I don't actually have any Milani lip products, so today I'm going to use some other drugstore brands. Today I have the e.l.f. Lip Liner in Dusty Rose. So I'm going to both line my lips and fill them in a bit to give them a nice deep color. Then I want to give them a nice little highlight, so I'm going to use the NYX Butter Gloss and Crème Brûlée. This is just sort of a beautiful peachy tone. I'm just kind of adding it to the middle to catch the light a bit. Alright, so that's the completed look. I really enjoyed using this makeup palette. I felt like it was really highly pigmented and I love the color selection. I feel like you could just have a lot of fun playing with the different colors and creating different looks, but they're all really great colors that you could use on an everyday basis. I'd love to hear if you tried Milani and if you have any favorite products by them. If not, just let me know what your favorite drugstore product is. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.